Shalom and welcome to TGC. In today's exciting video, we bring you Shake Crutch. This guy right here in the middle, the bald headed dude with the glasses, he brings us the excitement of the day. Now, before we get into this, I want to play another clip from earlier in the day of this shake crutch. I want to play it because it took place before this conversation he had with brother Bob and before all this craziness kicked off. I want to play it so we can become familiarized with him, with his behavior, his mocking, his choice of language, him, his literally what it comes down to is shame, his shameful actions, his shameful behavior. And as a sheikh, how can bystanding Muslims allow that type of shameful behavior? They want to brag about someone, even a child who stands behind a sheikh or imam who is reciting the Quran, and if he gets one sound syllable wrong, he'll call him out on it. Yet we'll familiarize ourselves with this Sheikh Crutch's shameful behavior, yet no one bats an eye. Let us take a look at it. We're going to play this video. It's about four minutes long, and we're playing this to familiarize ourselves with Mr. Shake Crutch. And we will see later why we call him Shake Crutch. But throughout this video, as he speaks his shameful words, choice of words, and his shameful behavior, all these Muslims across the screen, they don't bat an eye. Look at them. They're already happy and smiling. Let's, let's familiarize ourselves with this guy. Awesome. That was awesome. Come. Yalla. Let's let our father drink one. Is this from God? This is from the devil. This is from the devil. You don't want to communicate with me? I'm not going to communicate with you. Huh? You don't want to communicate with me? It doesn't. Look. It doesn't mean that you should communicate with me whenever you desire. Because when I want to communicate with you, you say, no, that's not fair. I say to you, kindly, open the book, open your book, open your book. Let's see if this is from God or not. No, no, I gave answer. I gave, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's, now he's talking about morality and manners. He's changing the topic. When he doesn't have an answer, now he, he, he runs away. He changed the topic to... Well, why, yeah, why you, why you have a chilly temper? Why you're angry? Come on, let's get back to the topic. Open your book and read to the people. You don't dare to read it because you know that it's not from God. Six what? Blocks. What's wrong? Is it, is it, is it home issues? What's wrong? What? Is it, is it, is it, is it like family issues? Read it. What's wrong? Bro? Read it. Like? Just read it. What's, what's wrong? I read it already. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? The, what's wrong with you fucking your own daughter? What's wrong with that? There's no problem. It's okay. So? Sorry? Who? You? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't change the topic. Open your book and read it. And we will see who needs a doctor. Read your book and we will see who needs a doctor. Go, you read your sexy Bible. Sons of Solomon. I love to touch your breasts and jump over your breasts. Is this from God? You shouldn't be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is that is that is 
is that worse than what Muhammad did to Aisha when she was nine years old? Sorry? Is that worse than what Muhammad did to Aisha when Well, your scholar but, said... But don't, but don't no, your scholar said that when here, Mary was say, nine years on, old, don't, she don't married don't she don't married John the carpenter. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're running away. Open your Bible and read it. Okay, let's let's say I'm going to open... I'm going to... I may believe in your Bible if you read it to me. I may leave Islam and come to Christianity. Read it. Read 19, chapter 30. What's wrong with you? See, you're ashamed. You are ashamed. You are ashamed. You are ashamed of yourself. Look, are you proud of your Bible or not? Open it. Open it. You're ashamed. You're ashamed of your Bible. Read. Hey, guys, ask him to read the book of Genesis, chapter 19, verse 30. Open it. Open it! I'm not your dimmy. You need to understand. This is not Sharia law, bro. This isn't Sharia law. Sharia law. Sharia law means constitution. And I'm proud of what you call Sharia law. It's an Arabic word which means past. It's got nothing to do with constitution. There is no single No, 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 no. There is no single constitution. If you do not have the book to uphold, that means. Sharia. That means you are of nothing. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Be polite. You are aggressive. You are aggressive. You are a psychopath. You need to go to the doctor. Do not touch me. Yeah, I didn't touch you. Do not. You touched me before. No, no, you brought me here. Never touched. Yeah. Never Okay. Come and read the your Bible. Come and read your Bible. MashaAllah, Sheikh. Merkwabi. Smawakwar. Everyone seems joyful. The pack of hyenas seem joyful and clapping and praising the Sheikh for his behavior. Not one called him out for him his shameful behavior. Not one. So. Let us go back to this video. Now, I, I'm going to call them hyenas because they act like a pack of hyenas as soon as they attack. And why do I say that? Because you can take a hyena or a pack of hyena out of its natural habitat, but you will never be able to take out that natural habitat from the pack of hyenas. Now view for yourselves. As we, we're going to go through some clips and as we go through them, you tell me what you view with your own eyes. After now that we've, familiarized ourselves with this shake crutch who initiates all of it and as soon as it kicks off who are the aggressors and who try who are trying to stop it your eyes don't lie to you it's not a magic show a trickery of hands show watch for yourselves Muslims. Not even the Muslims raise their hands. Why do you speak no to one's me? running away speak from to me. you. Speak to Let's me. talk then. Okay. So he said, now let you. us answer the question. Why did Muhammad teach the Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Don't push. Hey. Hey. Back up.
You're a mob because you lost the debate. Utter cowards. Intellectually beaten. Okay, well done if you won the argument. I don't want to flip and lose. It'd be right to come down here. No. Gang. So, what did your eyes tell you? Your eyes are not going to lie to you. And why do we call him the shake crutch? Did you see how he was wielding that crutch around, swinging it at people? That crutch became a weapon. He utilized his crutch as a weapon. Is that a crime? In the UK? Can the shake crutch be persecuted, prosecuted by the UK authorities for using his crutch as a weapon? I'm just asking the question. I don't think the, the police will do anything to the Muslims there anyway. They're afraid of the Muslims. And why? Because even the police know they become a mob. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, a mob of wild hyenas. You tell me, am I wrong? Did you see any Muslim in there trying to stop it? Or were they thrown on it like fire, like gasoline on fire? Let's take another, let's look at another clip. We're going to look at this one. And as it plays, I don't know if uh, just take a keep a watch on this wild hyena right here who goes by the name Shake Crutch. He becomes pretty mobile soon as that crutch became a weapon. But let's take a look. Hey! 
So my brothers and sisters, what do you think? Was that a one-off of a uh, of a lone hyena's actions that we get from uh, the shakes, the shake crutch? Is he a lone hyena by his actions? We're going to play another clip real quick. And... This one goes kind of funny. It goes sideways. So just be careful. You're kind of worn. You might have to turn your look sideways or something, but it has some good footage. So what are your thoughts of that? Shake Crutch was pretty determined with that crutch in his hand. He was on the move. Like a wild hyena. Now, I asked earlier before I showed that clip. If uh, Shake Crutch was a one off by his behavior by pushing Brother Bob, right? All the clips that we viewed all show him initiating 
Yes, Bob pushed him back, shoved him with his arm and said, no pushing, no pushing, no pushing. But as, as soon as Bob placed his hand on him, the hyenas came out. The hyenas didn't do that when their shake put his arms on Bob to, to move him. But I don't think that was a one-off. As we see this shake right here, who's got the, the black head scarf on. Let's see what he does. This guy's a shake too, right? Do you remember this? He does the exact same thing. The eyes don't lie. Now, the question is, do they teach this type of behavior at shake school? Let's take a look. As no, they're not. No, 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 no. I'm here to listen to so you. Okay. No, no, I want come to listen to you. Why are you working? No, 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 no. I can move whenever I want. It's a park. You don't come to the park. Oh, 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 shit. What are we doing? What are we doing, shit? What are we doing? What are we doing, shit? So as we can see, it's not a one-off. That shake. I don't even know his name. But we, we see how he mocks people. Too. So we know this is not a one-off. It's in their heart. And you think it's bad now. All they're waiting for is their Mahadi to arrive. And this will become increasingly more frequent. That's all they're waiting for. They're, they're waiting for their Mahadi to come, who will gather a 200 million man army and come and descend upon Israel to liberate Jerusalem, as they say. But we know through our scriptures, Jerusalem belongs to the Israelites, to God's chosen people. So why are they trying to make claim to Israel? It's because Islam try, is trying to steal the election, the inheritance, and the covenant from the house of Jacob. And if any Muslim, any Muslim wants to come on live stream with me, then we can debate it, we can converse on it, whatever you want to call it. Bring it on. Leave a comment. Tell me, yeah, let's get on state. Let's get on live stream. And we'll set up a time and a date. No problem. So what do we take from this? This is the type of behavior that we can expect from the religion of peace. Right? Is that what they call themselves? The religion of peace? But do you do you see? Do you witness peace from their shakes? And these are the ones that just that are caught on camera. How about all the ones that don't get caught on camera? How about all the, see, this is just a little punch or a little kick or a little shove. And that's only because it's not an Islamic country. What do you think? would happen to these Christians if they were in an Islamic country. Come on. Let's be honorable. Let's, let's, let's not tell lies. We know heads would be rolling. So, there it is. 
we got Shake Crutch. We got Shake Crutch himself, the new star of the day, the new star at Speaker's Corner. Will we see him again, or was this a one-off hit and run? We know it's not a one-off on the behavior of Shakes, as we just witness again. But from the religion of peace, this seems legit. It's in their heart. That's why it comes out of their mouth. That's why it is their action. Over and over again at Speaker's Corner, we see how these altercations are started. And what do the Islamic pages say? We got Dawa 4K right here. Christian gets violent towards Muslim Sheikh. Then this happened. Okay. That's a lie. How about this one? Why Jesus was cursed? Discussion made Bob unreasonable. Okay. We know what really happened. How about this one? Bob lost debate. debate. Start physical. We know who started all this. We know who pushed who first. And we also know Bob is not going to take any crap. So if you push Bob, if you push brother Bob, don't be surprised if he pushes you back. Because he's not your demi. Neither or all of us Christian brothers and sisters. If you're so confident about your religion and so confident that it is the religion of truth, put down all the little schoolboy arguments, these one pulling one scripture out of a of a chapter here and there and try to make your claim because all you're trying to do is make make Christian Christianity and or the Holy Bible false but you never put your Quran up against the Bible one on one going through the scriptures detailing how salvation comes through who and by who and how it's done can do a weekly series pick one day of the week maybe go for three hours going through biblical scripture quranic scripture and let the go from the beginning to the end and let the viewer make up their own minds because the one thing you never touch you muslims is the message throughout the bible in the end of the day if you're really about the truth put message up against message let the book stand for itself. Because at the end of the day, you take away the Quran, the Bible still stands. You take away the Bible, even the Quran crumbles. Because the Quran is the corruption of the Holy Bible. When have you seen a Muslim perform Dawah without bringing up Christianity? How Christianity is false. How Jesus didn't die on the on the on the cross, or try to be shame, try to shame the the Trinity. I have never in my life seen Dawa performed without bringing up Christianity. Why is that? Because they must make someone believe that Christianity is false for them to believe the Quran. Simple as that. So any Muslim, stand up. Step to the plate. Get off the bench. Get on the field. We can live stream. No problem. May the one true God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob comfort 
and bless you. Shalom.